Hey guys, AJ with Relentless Racing. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got my 1ZZ here. This is the original one that came with my MR2 and it was blown up. So I've been playing with the timing chain and I noticed it's got a really cool design. So I wanted to do a quick video on how to install the timing chain and get the timing all properly set up. The only caveat with this particular video, it is missing some components, but just notice that the idler pulley, the belt tensioner, the water pump, the AC, and the alternator are not on this motor. So you're gonna have to excuse that, but think about the overall objective of this video. It's all about the timing chain and getting it timed properly. Check it out. You thought that video was over, right? Well, I mentioned at the very beginning that the 1ZZ has a really cool timing chain design. And the reason why I say that is because even with the TCT out, I couldn't get it to skip timing. And the reason why is because the oil pump blocks the chain from jumping down by the sprocket of the crankshaft. And I thought that was really kind of cool. Now, I'm not saying that it won't skip timing if the car was running, if it didn't have the TCT in it, but if you're doing it by hand, rotating the crank by hand, either counterclockwise or clockwise, I couldn't get to skip timing. So that was pretty cool. And the other thing was, I wanted to add a little bonus feature for those of you that made it to the end. So when you install the TCT, you rotate the crankshaft backwards or counterclockwise, and it actually has two pops. The first pop is the chain snapping. The second pop is the TCT releasing. Check this out. <laughs> 